Okay, so today we'll be doing a rundown and overview of the Iconosys Advanced 360 View Creator software, uh, more specifically adding hotspots to a 360 image set. Uh, I've shot a set of 360 images that I've output from our Shutterstream 360 software, and I'm going to go and drag and drop these into the Advanced 360 View Creator software. Now the first thing we're going to do is show a preview and this is going to basically stream a real time preview of our 360 view into a preview window inside of the application. Uh, first you can see we can also adjust our player buttons. Um, these are the buttons in the bottom left corner and you can also choose which buttons you wish to include um, in the advanced settings area. Uh, for instance, in the UI, we could say, let's show a zoom bar. We'll reload the preview, and you're going to see we have a zoom bar. Let me return back to the main UI of the software and uh, discuss one more feature here. This is going to be the actual output size that we wish to output our 360 image at. Um, in this case, we're going to choose 600 by 450 pixels. Uh, after we select that, it's going to resize all the player images based on our selection. And again, we can go ahead and show the preview again. Uh, let's dive a little bit more into the advanced settings. Uh, I guess one more thing I probably should have mentioned is uh, users have the ability to say how fast or how slow the 360 view will spin. Uh, that would simply be this drop down. Um, you can choose the value that you want. That would be the duration of one full turn. By clicking the advanced settings area, we're going to go into our advanced player options. Um, again, in our UI options, we can choose which buttons to show and which buttons not to show. We also have control. You can reverse mouse drag direction. For instance, it's left and right, but if we'd shot in the opposite direction, we could reverse the mouse drag direction. Uh, in this case, I'd uploaded images that were 1,200 pixels wide. You can see the output size will be at 600 pixels wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, if including a zoom bar, I'm going to say include maximum zoom at 200%, which means 2x zoom. Again, by showing the preview, we're going to reload that. You're going to see basically that's a 2x zoom now. Uh, we also have additional features such as mouse wheel zoom. So instead of the slide bar, you can actually just disable that player button and basically have the mouse wheel zoom in and zoom out. Um, and you can also rotate on mouse hover as well as a couple other options. Again, that's under the advanced settings control. Uh, rotation options, uh, we do have a couple different options here. Um, start rotation in reverse direction, bounce rotation, that would be more ideal for a 180 degree view. Uh, rotate on start, um, basically what that would be once it loads, it's going to do one or it's going to continuously play. Um, but since I also have rotate just once, that's going to spin one 360, then stop. Uh, if you've shot multiple 360s at different levels, such as a 3D product view, this is where you would enable the multi-level rotation. Um, a few different preloader types while it's loading and uh, you also have options for background. Uh, let's dive into our hotspots. Uh, we've had a lot of customers ask about how to add hotspots and what the actual process is. Uh, so we're going to dive into that a little bit more. Uh, my first step here will be click to add a hotspot. You can see there's four different options here. Blank hotspot is simply going to be text. URL hotspot will hyperlink to a URL. A JavaScript hotspot, that is more so for uh, more technical users where they can start custom defining um, functionality uh, using JavaScript and also image hotspot when a user clicks on a hotspot, it's actually going to pull up an additional image. So let's go ahead and first add an image hotspot. Uh, we're going to give it a title. We'll put bottom view of camera, or maybe just bottom view. We're also going to add that as the title down here. We're going to choose our hotspot. Um, you can actually upload your own icon. Um, I've uploaded a couple inside of here already. Um, for instance, we'll use this blue circle with the white plus in it. And we are going to find the image that, uh, that we want to upload. So let me go and find our folder here, additional views. And here's our bottom view image. I will upload that and I will hit save. Uh, now basically it's simply going to be click and drag. So I click the place button right here and drag it onto the actual image. Then you can move left and right by clicking next and previous frame. And you're going to see when it pops up kind of with the uh, 
additional view of the uh, the hotspot, that means it's being placed. So we're going to place it a few different hotspots, meaning that as our object turns, that hotspot's going to move with the object. So we're going to add maybe one, two, three. Let's add it once more, and that's going to be our first hotspot there. Um, so we've added that hotspot, and again, we can see what hotspots are live on the image um, by clicking um, the next and previous button. You can also see the path, and the little blue lines, and the dots that denote where it's actually being placed. Um, maybe our next hotspot that we want to add will be, let's go to our URL hotspot, and I've actually opened up the Nikon USA webpage for the D5300 camera. Uh, if we did want to link that back, we're going to put here. Hotspot title will be click for additional info. And we're going to say open it in a new window. I'm going to hit save. And let's go and we're going to find a frame that we want to put this on. Um, actually, I probably should also dive into, uh, we do have a wizard that if you did want to put it, a hotspot that rotates entirely with the 360 image, we can do so. So let me go ahead and uh, drag. I'm going to put, uh, well, pardon me, let's not do that. We're going to go ahead and start our wizard. And I'll just explain a little bit more um, about, uh, about how we're going to have that actually rotate. Pardon me, I'm going to click on this one here. We're going to put uh, here, start wizard, and we're going to go previous. Let me just drag it. So we're going to start it at the center, and I'm going to say this is the actual center point. So I'm going to hit OK Center. Let me go and find the far left spot. I'm going to put that as the OK Left, and then we're going to go and find the far right spot. And we'll put it about right there and I'll hit OK right. And I'll hit continue and you can see it automatically adds the path um, knowing where it's going to rotate with each frame. So this is a total of 24 frames. There's going to be a hot spot in every single one of these frames and we're going to hit done. Now let's return back to our main part of our UI and we're actually going to create this 360 view. Um, I have an option here for, I'm going to click my folder, Nikon D 5300 360 view, select folder and we're going to see it's being output already. Now let's browse this folder and you're going to see this is the actual output folder. Um, let's view our index file here and that's going to upload in a browser. Um, you're going to see again if you recall would use the wizard to add actually the hotspot um, for click for additional information. Again that's going to link back to the Nikon D5300 website opening it in a new window and in addition to that um, we did have our other hotspot. Again, we put that on four different frames. As you can see, it disappears um, once we get outside of the frame that we did not include it on. Um, so we'll go to a frame that we did include it on. We're going to click bottom view, and we're going to see it uploads that additional image um, to show the bottom view. Uh, so that's a nice overview of the, uh, of the advanced view creator by Iconosys.